Hi YouTubers, it's me, Classy Lady again, making yet another tutorial video real quick on how to clean and disinfect your hair products, um, meaning your comb, your brushes, your hair clips, whatever things you use inside of your hair, it's definitely good to wash them uh, and cleanse them, should I say, as often as you can. Um, I probably don't do this as often as I should, um, but I definitely have started to do it a lot more. Um, it beats having to go and buy new combs and brushes um, every, what, six months, um, and just take some time and clean them. And I actually got this idea off of a video that I saw a couple years ago um, and started doing it uh, on my own. So what you will need is some sort of a container that can hold the water. Um, since combs and brushes are various sizes, I always just use this old Kool-Aid pitcher that I have. You will need um, baking soda and a paper towel and whichever items you want to clean. So I have my brush, my combs, um, all different shapes and sizes. And I also am going to be washing my hair clips. This is something that we don't always think about, but we put these in our hair all the time. And so uh, these can definitely get oiled and dirt and everything inside of them. So I'm going to be washing these as well. Um, I think this is definitely a good idea to try to do at least once a month. If not once a month, um, you know, maybe every two months or so. But I think once a month is pretty good. Um, I'm trying to start doing it after I wash my hair because if you think about it, you comb your hair out every day and you use your combs and then you wash your hair and you put that same comb or brush right back in your hair or that same hair clip right back in your hair and I just think it's unsanitary. So with that being said, what you're going to do is whichever type of container you have, you're just going to fill it up with water. So I'm going to fill it up with warm water as hot as I can get it out of my sink and you'll just hear the water running for a few minutes. I'm doing this in my bathroom this is where I've been all night. <laughs> So we're just going to fill this up with the water as hot as we can stand it. Cut that off. Then some people measure their baking soda that they put inside of their water, but I don't. I just kind of eyeball it. Um, there's no need to put a whole lot of it in there because it needs to dissolve. You definitely don't want the water to clump up at the bottom. So basically, I'm just going to take a little bit of it, maybe about two to four tablespoons if I just had to eyeball it. That's just because I'm a baker. That's the only reason I know that. And put a little bit in there. And always store your baking soda in your refrigerator after it's open. I've had this baking soda for a very long time from Whole Foods. It lasts very, very long. Then I just kind of take a comb and just kind of swirl it around, touch the bottom of it, just so we can let it dissolve in the water completely. And then what you wanna do is make sure if you have a brush or a comb, you're just cleaning out the hair out of your brush or your comb as best as possible before you put it into the water because you don't want it to get hair inside of the water because it kind of defeats the purpose. But once you comb that all out, I just take each one of my brushes or my combs and I just put them in there face down. So I, since I'm a neat free, keep my combs in a little container inside of my drawer. And you can see that a lot of times with your combs, you'll get just build up up here in the little crevices um, from the product that you use, from the dirt and oil on your hair, and even the handle. So it's definitely good to just put them in there, which is why I use the Kool-Aid picture, because it's tall enough that I could just stick everything down in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these all in. And no, I don't use all of these combs. A lot of these just come in the packages that I have. But if I'm going to clean one, I might as well clean them all. Get the little stray away hairs out of there. And then too, it's probably if you keep your combs in some form of a container, 
um, or just in your drawer. Trust me, I know how hair and dirt and everything gets trapped and locked in the drawer all the time. It can get caught up. It's good to also, when you're cleaning your combs, to place um, everything, well take everything, should I say, out and then see how there's hair trapped in there. Just empty that out and it's probably good to just wash these out. Just get some dish liquid, wash it out, rinse it out, maybe get a little bit of uh, alcohol on an alcohol pad and just clean it out to the best of your ability. Now I tend to let this sit for about uh, 30 minutes to an hour. It doesn't really take that long, but I mean, I guess the longer you keep them in, the cleaner it'll get, I suppose. That's the logic behind it. But I let, I just leave them in for however long I feel. I'm going to also place my clips in here. And I also have these little hot tool clips that I use as well. Take the hair out of there. So we're just going to let that soak. And then once we're finished, it literally takes all of the buildup out of the top. I'm going to pull one of these out just for a demonstration. It takes all of the buildup out of the top of these crevices. You would think that you would have to go back in and like still pull down and everything. No, the baking soda just breaks it all apart and it dissolves in the water. So you're just going to leave those in there. And when you're done, I take a paper towel rinse it just to give it one good rinse rinse it in hot water then I take a paper towel and I just kind of dry it like that and then I'll have a separate paper towel where I will just lay them flat for them to dry and that's it so I hope you like this tutorial um, comment rate subscribe let me know if you have any questions have a good night